so uh, hello everyone that's so nice of you all joining into this session or of, of webinar conducted by the wembo team so uh this is pranav from the product management team of wembo and with me i do have um mr mani gandan the co organizer he's also from the same team with ernest again a co organizer as well so people i uh, with a good start of the year i just wanted to welcome you all with a happy new year welcome in white and for this webinar is going to be something which we are going to talk about the version 7o series with the un update so uh this is something which is related to the 7.0 release which happened previously and now the upgradation to that build as an happened so we are going to see how it is going to elevate things up so i still see a lot of attendees joining in but uh, we'll just continue with the flow where initially before i continue with things i just wanted to update on some details regarding the webinar so this webinar is going to be only in the uh, you know listen only mode so the attendees will not be able to speak through and uh, i'll be the complete speaker throughout the session once done uh, there is a, you know uh, there is an update that we already uh, let out to you through our announcement where you will be able to win the passes for the uh, it show it expo which is being organized in the month of feb so uh, those two passes which is worth of 1600 dollars is all available so for that to avail it you need to attend the questions which has been uh, set in the polls so uh, uh, please answer the questions which has been asked in the polls after you answer based on the correct number of answers the luckiest winner will be chosen in another 48 hours and that particular person will be sent an email with the pass details okay so this is how the things are going to be and if at all you have any questions related to the version 7.0 which has been recently released so you can raise your questions in a qa box in the same section that you see at the side so you can raise your questions there and i have my co organizers of the session to answer those questions uh, answer those questions at the earliest if there are a lot of questions in the queue uh we sometimes may not be able to answer it in this session but we'll be able to send you an email for the uh questions that you have raised so uh, this is about the session where we are going to start now and once again i invite you all with whole hearted for the webinar uh, which has been organized for the new year of 2024 a good start with the pdr suite to protect your data from data loss or ransomware so uh without much further ado i just wanted to proceed further i hope everyone is able to view my screen so uh since there are some of the new entries or attendees who is join in for the webinar we'll just start out with a small introduction about the bdr suite so uh, as you could see wembo technologies is a company the vendor who has been in this business of data protection for more than two decades with our food steps in 100 plus countries and we have a product etched for all types of businesses which includes the small medium then the mid range business and comes the enterprise class business so our product is able to be scaled up for any type of business models within the data protection market space and these are the technology partners of wembo which we have to mention because because of them we have been able to deliver a futuristic product and with the partnership of them we have some uh, futuristic products in our futuristic features which has been developed in our test labs which would be available or incorporated in one of in coming uh, in the upcoming releases of bdr suite so here are a few of our customers work in cooperation with us we are still using our software till date and now without further ado a small introduction about what wembo technologies provides so this is a portfolio of wembo technologies where we are able to provide you with an unified data protection solution and bdr suite and bdr cloud are the two main product portfolios that we hold 
when the bdr suite is a backup and disaster recovery software and bdr cloud is a cloud backup and recovery software that we hold now we are going to talk only about the bdr suite the software that we provide so here we have this agenda for the session like we'll be talking about what we have in this bdr suite version 700 u1 and how is it going to elevate your data protection strategy for the year 2024 and uh, uh, hold on to your seats guys this year 2024 has much of uh, new features to be included into the bdr suite build or under the version 7 series so um the per- people who have attended the previous webinar on version 7.0 some of the features remains the same but the enhancements has been made in the update 1 build and people who are already using the lower versions of bdr suite can update their versions to the latest version 700 u1 from the portal the uh, portal accounts where you have the downloads to download the build now yeah so uh, what are this bdr suite going to uh, help you with while taking a backup so before i talk about this session i just wanted to cover what we have in this version 70 u1 so the new features as we already saw in version 700 we have the kvm backup and recovery included we have the azure backup azure vm backup the aws backup and recovery and the postgres sql backup and recovery for the new uh, i mean for the version 700 as a new features i when i'm going to talk about this kvm backup it's a vm level backup that we were Uh, supporting as of now which is completely a mode like an agentless type of solution of vm level backup so you don't have to install agents on each of the vm to take a backup of it which is similar to what we have in our previous vmware and hyper v uh, hypervisor level backups that we provide the vm level backups of uh, hypervisor that we provided now uh, with this kvm we support the emulator uh, emulator version of qmu and the libred and we are also working on the overred which will also be com- uh, you know uh, coming up uh, will be coming up in our one of our next releases now regarding the azure vm so uh, initially we were able to take a snapshot level backup for the azure vm and store that uh, snap in the cloud itself in the azure cloud itself now with this solution you can have a copy of that snap to be stored in your local storage which could be either your block or object storage of your choice which the bdr suite provides and there are some uh, restore options that satisfies both your um uh, snapshot level backup as well as the local backup copy level back uh, storage as well and to the mark point we have the similar for the aws backup and recovery which initially had a snapshot level now we have incorporated it with the backup copy feature to be stored locally as well now um, on the other hand uh, the since we are moving towards a centralization the postgres sql backup and recovery has been moved added to the uh, applications and db section of bdr suite version 7.0 so so people can start taking a backup of your postgres sql backup and recovery uh, they can also take a backup of their microsoft exchange server they can take a backup of mysql they can take a backup of your um, ms sql sharepoint on all these can be configured from the backup server now there is a difference here um, mysql postgres sql and ms sql can be configured directly from the backup server console itself for rest we'll be using the old method of having the um client wembu uh, like initially the client was called as wembu bdr uh, wembu network backup client now it is called as bdr for uh, client for files and applications so using that you can take a backup as well so uh, moving on further the other set of uh, new features that has been incorporated into the sun oo are the 
NAS backup or file share backup and recovery. So uh, initially, uh, it is more like an agent based one. And now we have more categorized it towards the file or folder level backup for your NAS devices or your any of your network share devices or a file share devices that you have, which can be taken a backup and store directly either in your local storage or in your object storage, or that is your cloud storage as well. To be moving forward, you have the security feature, the two factor authentication has been enabled now. Now it is just gone with an uh, email ID specified code. So soon that will also be en uh, enriched in the future levels. The next to the security regarding the ransomware protection on all the stuff, we have this pre post backup script to be incorporated where the people are allowed to script their backup job. So while you while your backup runs, you can have a pre script to scan the uh, source file that is to be backed up. And before you restore the file, you can run a post scan to restore the data. So that is what uh, the pre and post backup scripts helps you with before you take a backup so that to protect your data and secure it when you store it in your storage repository. Next to that, you have the file recovery to the source, which has been a most requested features, but whatever the file level backup that we configure, we were able to initially restore it to the backup server end, and then we provide you as a download link. But for now, what we have done is we uh, the user gets an exposure to restore the data to the exact source machine, that is to the same particular folder or to another folder within the source machine itself. So that is something that we have added up to the file recovery to the source. So apart from these new features that we have incorporated, we have some of the enhancements with version 7 u one which is your, as I told you, like the centralized uh, centralization for your applications and DBs, where we support Microsoft SQL, MySQL and Postgres SQL databases to be configured directly from the PDA suite web console, whereas the Exchange, the other supported applications like Exchange Server Backup, uh, SharePoint Backup can be done from the Wainbu Network Backup Client, which is lately called as BDR Suite Client for Files and Applications. On the other hand, we also support for the folder path as backup repository where initially it was a network path uh, completely, which you can add to add it uh, under your report, uh, repository settings on the uh, blocks, block storage. So next to it, we have the automatic backup agent installation from the BDS suite backup server itself. So you can, you need not to push things up each and every time where you can initially just automatically push the agents to the Back, uh, you know, to the source machines on a bulk deployment from the backup server by uh, integrating the AD with it. Where we can also provide you with the MSI for that purpose, for if that is going to be on a larger scale of deployment. And it can go with the silent deployment as well. Next to it, uh, we have a support for the backup jobs, which has been primarily having the copy stored in the object storage can also avail to have an DR copy of the same. So initially we had a restriction to have the DR offsite DR to be enabled for the data, which has been stored in the local storage that is block storage. But for now, even the object storage is supported for whatever the data that is stored in the, um, you know, the block uh, object storage can also have an offsite DR copy enabled for it. Next to the lane, we have the tape library support for archival purposes, which now supports the standalone. Initially, it was only the auto loaded. Now it is the standalone, which has also been incorporated. And lately we have the email notifications for the end users to be added. So whenever you add an endpoint backup, you get to add the user detail that is email details of the specific user. So that particular endpoint, whichever is going through a backup status can be 
uh, the mails of the reports can be sent to the particular email id itself instead of sending up to the whole section you can have the individual user to have a complete uh, notification about his reports backup reports and restore reports and now uh, the missed backup re- sh- uh, schedule report has also been added to the product uh, for a complete visualization of, for transparency and m- there were multiple enhancements that went into the saas application level backup for the reporting section as well as the restore reports have been uh, uplifted and there are some of the search options that has been added up to this 700u1 release now all these put together is something that we talk about the bdr suite versions on oo where we were discussing about the new features that we have and some of the enhancements that we went through and whereas in the ransomware defense we wanted to uh, scope you out with or we just wanted to give you an introduction of what we have planned for the bdr suite uh, for the year 2024 regarding the ransomware protection the 3 to 1 backup policy the backup data pre and post script the uh, supported ag app environment or the three options that we already have in our bdr suite as of now where we this 3 to 1 backup policy is something which has been our natural usp where you can have three copies of the data to be stored in two different storage mediums and one copy to be your offsite dr copy and after supporting the object storage now it has been a mandatory one to even have a offsite copy for your data which has been stored in of of uh, block object storage now uh, the backup pre and post script detail is also been added as we were discussing something previously in the 7.0 u1 uh, new features and this ag app environment support is basically for the provision of offline licensing so we provide you with offline licensing support where you can uh, you know you need not uh, connect with the internet or the backup server where you install doesn't need to be connected to the internet it just goes with the internal landline itself so all these three are already available the rest of the three that we are going to have uh, have things coming up soon in one of our next releases or the series of the next releases are the immutable and hardened storage immutable storage is so far an important request which have been received from a lot of customers and the partners around the globe so immutable is something that we have planned and we are executing it both for cloud as well as for the on prem linux immutable storages and our hardened storage variant is also be going to be supported for along with this immutable uh, backup so obviously when you have an immutable backup you will be going into a warm type of section where you will be able to write your data backup data once but you will have the read many option of that data so that's what the warm is all about so that will be supported soon in one of our upcoming releases when the seven series itself then we have this anomaly detection so this uh, uh, detection of anomaly is been uh, scheduled within another couple of months down the lane so once that has been done you will have the anomaly detection to be also added up where the individual changes or multiple changes will be tracked down of uh, and you will be able to detect if there is any anomaly which has been happen to that particular in case of ransomware is concerned now the secure recovery is more about allowing you to go with a stage wise recovery stage platform wise recovery so that your data which you have taken a backup before you restore ensures that it is protected and you don't have to uh, worry about after it being affected so this stage recovery helps you with a complete secure recovery without affecting your uh, newly created environment so all these three are something which has been planned for the down uh, planned for the year down the lane by in a couple of months you will have one or the other features coming up in the pdr suite version 7 series itself so now these are something that we have defined and that we have uh, organized for the roadmap in, as far as ransomware is concerned the reason that i'm stressing on the ransomware is 
this is what is going to talk about protecting or elevating your data protection strategy for the year 2024 down the lane with the 2025 as well so ransomware has been a, a talk of the town for a lot of period and now having it incorporated into a backup solution is going to be more efficient because you don't need to have a separate solution for um, blocking your ransom and a separate solution for restoring your data after you are hit by a ransom so all these are going to go hand in hand in future when we come across and now i believe it is a time for me to explain on the unified data protection which the bdr suite offers as all knows the bdr suite uh, ha- is a you know centralized console management where we are trying to provide a comprehensive solution at a cost effective basis so on that uh, note we have the bdr suite for the data center and private cloud which includes a backup for your virtual environment such as vmware hypo v kvm and we also have the physical um environments supported for windows linux and um nas so these are all the physical servers that we support as of now where the windows support goes with a disk image level backup and for linux we go with a file or folder level backup windows will also support file or folder level backups as of now and the nas has its file or folder level backups already now the applications that we support is exchange sql sharepoint mysql and postgres sql these are granular level of applications that we support as of now and even if it is taken to an image level backup users can restore their microsoft applications granularly from an image level backup more like a granular restore that we support for the applications next we have the saas application support so the user can it can get to backup as microsoft 365 or the google workspace uh, organizations so with this he'll be able to backup as user mailbox which includes the mails contacts calendars one drive in case of microsoft 365 and google drive in case of google workspace along with that the shared one drive and group uh, mailbox are also taken a backup as far as microsoft uh, 365 is concerned sharepoint online and teams are also can be taken a backup with the saas applications that we provide and it also helps you to migrate your mails of the user from one tenant to another tenant along with the multiple restoration options that we have and uh, for the endpoint which is completely a file or folder level backup we support the windows linux and mac endpoints at a file or folder level and helps you to individually have an access for the users and restore the data directly to the user resource itself then the cloud workloads as we discussed the aws and azure cloud vms can be taken up backup and now having that backed up data to be stored in local storage is something that has been provided so that even if your cloud uh, environment is down you still can restore or bring your machine as a virtual machine or and proceed with your organization's business part so the business continuity can be ensured even with the cloud backup that you have configured so all these put together has been uh, organized into one single window that is the advantage of bdr suite that we have received so far so uh, i believe i have just given you a theoretical introduction of what bdr suite does and we would now go into a section where we are going to discuss about the or, or a live demo about a small overview on the version 70u1 so bear with me before i share the screen so this is my uh, web based console of bdr suite so once you install the software you can find the software link from our website which i'll be talking about in the later stage so uh, you can just download the software install the software you have three installers available one is bdr suite windows installer and another one is a ubuntu installer for the same bdr suite apart from this we also provide the docker container uh, availability for bdr suite as well so you can get the builds uh, from the 
web page that we have provided and uh, here after you install this is the section that you will be landing up with so you just need to sign up this is more like a web based console it's not an application based console as i previously mentioned you just need to sign up with a default username and password which is admin and admin okay so yeah uh, i'm just showing you a demo machine so um not much of a time i'm going to organize over here here we're just going to see what are the features that has come in and uh, what all newly has been added up to this pdr suite version 7.0 so i just wanted to show you this version is BDR Suite Solution 7.0, 7 the latest build, which is available. And here, as you could see, the data center, private cloud, and endpoints. Here, you could see the KVM backup has been added up. So, um, all that you need to do is just go to add KVM, and you'll be able to uh, either push the agent automatically or you can download the agent, install the agent on the KVM host, and you can take a backup of your KVM virtual machines hosted on that KVM environment. So we have both the Debian and Red Hat Linux operations that is supported. And apart from that, we have now grouped the Windows, Linux, and Mac in one section under the data sources section of data center, private cloud, and endpoints itself. So you can just organize to add host either by automatic agent uh, push so this is only for servers of um, uh, windows it works to automatically push the agent if you want to install the agent manually you can download the agent manually install the agent and you can proceed further if at all you want to go for a, um, a bulk installation we have the steps also incorporated here like the bulk installation you have to create an msi with the proper uh, BBA um, uh, and the IP address of the server and you can push the agent through your group policy if you have an AD uh, or through a third party tool. So all those has been included here and another one is import this is hand host and another one is import host. So either you can import the host details as a CSV file or if you can import the host details from your existing AD or LDAP server, you can do that from here. So there are two options that we provide. And here uh, you would be able to add your email ID. So if you're providing your email ID, this uh, for this particular IP address or the machine, uh, the backup status report, the re restore status report, all things will be triggered to the particular email ID from the BDS Suite backup server when enabled email notifications. So if I'm not wrong, and you are also provide an option to sort things up. So based on your device name, you can sort it or host name, you can sort it. All the sorting options are provided. And then that goes the same for Linux and Mac because all these are physical environment light of backup. And then comes the file share which has been added up newly. So as we said, your NAS drive or the file share, all that you need to do is just give a display name, a share path. We have the tooltips clearly mentioning about what share path you have to provide. That is more like an UNC path that you provide for your NAS and you can use the credentials and you can select the agent from um, the BBA, which has been already installed on a Microsoft Windows machine. Or if you have hosted the BDS Suite backup server, on a Windows uh, machine, you can use the same agent to proceed to configure a backup for your NAS um, NAS uh, drive. All the files and folders of the NAS drive will be taken a backup. So once it is added, it will be listed down here. And then I can configure the backup for my NAS directly from the sections that I have over here. So the configuration for the backup is all the same. Not much of a difference has been made. It is all the similar that we have uh, said previously. The only thing about the RPO and RTO is now all your backups, even for your file and folders, you can schedule to run your backups from every 15 minutes. Uh, that has been added up to the PDS suite backup server part. And now the cloud workloads. So in the cloud workloads, you can add your um, AWS account or Azure account with the tenant ID and application ID along with the secret password. 
and for aws you have the authentication type so that involves the access key and the secret key so you don't have to worry how to create these details you can just get it directly by the prerequisites that we have set it at the side which you can even download it as a pdf for you as a guide it will guide you through how things can be made okay and then the backup part for it is also becoming up so when i configure a backup for my aw azure i get two options either i can choose to go with azure snapshot backup where the snaps will be stored in my azure platform if i want to go with uh, azure snapshot backup with a backup copy to the local location what happens is from the snapshot a copy of that would be stored in my local repository which could be my block storage or object storage so that option i get so having this set based on that i'll be able to restore my data for example if i want to restore a particular azure you can select the azure here is the snapshot based one where i get the vm recovery the volume recovery or the download of vms and disk which is a object if i have stored my data in object then obviously the downloads of vms and disk can be available and this is an ubuntu machine if it is a windows machine i get even the disk mount option and the recovery to microsoft azure again so these two options will be available for the same and that goes for the azure snap i'll be getting only the two options that you are able to see that is the vm level recovery and the volume level recovery so this is a difference between a uh, data getting stored in your local uh, the cloud workload backup which you get to store in the local storage as well as having it directly in a cloud and uh, this goes the same for aws as well so in aws you either go with an ebs snapshot backup or having a ebs snapshot backup with a backup copy in your local location that could be your block or object storages as well so these are the two options that you have uh, with the cloud workloads now enabling you to go further to restore your data and secure your data whenever it is required and your saas applications which is already available like all these saas applications of microsoft 365 and google workspace can be taken up backup so all that you need to do is add your admin uh, uh, organization admin account to your microsoft 365 and google workspace now to add your microsoft 365 you can go with the three process either automatic a manual or powershell script so and also you get to choose your cloud environment either it could be your azure cloud a uh, government cloud or a uh, azure china cloud over that we focus and uh, getting the backup regarding the backup i have the organizations to be selected either the user mailbox the group mailbox sharepoint sites and teams to be the objects or entities to be selected okay that is for the microsoft 365 and if it is for the google workspace we choosing where to store my data so even in google workspace i can include my user mailbox or shared drive So when it is going with the user mailbox, it includes the mails, Google Drive, calendars, and contacts, and that goes the same for the Microsoft 365 as well. And next is your applications and DBs, which is a more important part because here you can directly configure your applications and DBs from the backup server console. So if it is if you have hosted the MySQL database on a Microsoft Windows or Linux you can use this part or uh, the PostgreSQL either Windows or Linux or these uh, and your SQL server all these can be directly configured from this section itself from the backup server section itself but we support the backup for Exchange server SharePoint 
and uh, exchange, I'm sorry, Exchange Server and all those details, uh, you can configure it from the client. So which includes Exchange Server, SharePoint and Outlook from the VDS Week client. Whereas the from the backup server, you can configure for SQL, MySQL and Postgres SQL directly. And soon, even the other part of it will be also be added into it, the applications and DP section. So all these are supported from the backup server cell. Now going further, uh, regarding the monitoring, you have the 360 server, which you can download the build. All that you need to do is download and install the 360 server on a separate server machine and you will be able to view your uh, all your backup jobs from one single window it's more like a monitoring tool but now uh, as per the plan the pdr suite itself provides you with more of that detail and the next to it is your two-factor authentication that we discussed so when enabled with two-factor authentication you get to receive your code to end log into the backup server using this two-factor authentication and uh, that is only for the mail mail level uh, codes you will be receiving not on an sms integration or so that will be coming up later and uh, you also have third party tools to be integrated like connectwise so you can add your connectwise boards to um, follow up your tickets and the link as well so all these done and said we'll also have some detailing about the reports so now the report section has been enriched with the job dashboard for the backup jobs which gives you the overall details of how many passes and how many failures has been done which can be downloaded as well as can be set as a mail and the backup copy job reporting has been added then vms and host details report that is individual vms and details can be seen data recovery report has been added up you also have the data integrity check which is uh, something that you can schedule where you will get a screenshot of your report as such okay so we perform both boot check uh, and first we mount the data automatically at every 24 hours of interval when enabled we'll mount the data boot the data and take the screenshot of the booted data for this to be enabled make sure wherever you host your backup server should have the uh, hypervisor role enabled only then you'll have this data integrity check feature to be available and email notification so you can schedule your email based on your request so even the email notification for endpoints can be scheduled as per things and the schedule email can be done from here the only thing that you have to do is you have to add your SMTP settings. So after you add your SMTP settings, you can send a test mail and ensure that the email reports have been, uh, or the required email reports are, can be sent or not. Okay. If you want to exclude entities or host details, even that can be done through this uh, option that we provide. So these are the sections that we have in the BDR suite version 7.00 U1. Apart from this, I, I just wanted to update that the performance, the stability of the product has been much improved in each of its releases. So now the stability of it has been enriched. And uh, if at all any of your people are using the previous version of um, BDR Suite, such as 4, version 4.0 and above, or version 5.0 and above on its series, you can now um, upgrade it uh, if required to the version 700 u1 and down the lane uh, we all i just wanted to inform you all like we are also coming up with a uh, 701 release which is planned by the end of the month which will also include some of the new features and minor tutings tunings to the enhancements that we have made and uh, much new features more like an usability based on the centralization based has been also incorporated so uh yeah that's it people this is from the bdr suite end and uh, more about the product where you want to download the bdr suite all that you need to do is so it is bdr suite.com 
So you can just see the vdr3.com with a download link, which is the latest release. And if at all you wanted to uh, go for an upgrade, please talk to our support team. You can just talk to our support team if you are planning for a upgrade to the sound OVO U1 from your older versions. And you can also get the other versions like the Linux build and all that so from your portal account also. So, or you can even uh, get it, uh, get the details from our support. You can just contact our support. The support will provide you with the Linux installer, the Docker container installer as well for your purpose. Hope the details are clear. And uh, I believe and I see that there are questions that is popping up. And all that I would say is my team is exactly answering all your questions. So uh, that's it from my end. But before you go, I wanted to update on one more part. That is our... That is our expo, expo section that I wanted to talk about. So uh, people, you will be provided um, as we uh, discussed or we sent an email which was explained self-explanatory about the two passes worth $1,600 for the IT Expo is all available. So what you have to do is uh, it's only for the two lucky winners or uh, you have to attend the questions that we have raised in the poll section so once you attend uh, based and based on the details that you have provided the correctness of the answer we'll be able to provide you with some um, uh, i mean on the random basis we'll have the have it generated and we'll be uh, able to send you those passes in your through to your registered mail id for this session and uh, you can enjoy the passes and you can also meet our BDR Suite team available for on that expo. So that's a good uh, level of expo for the month of Feb on the year 2024. And also, if you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one session of uh, BDR Suite versions on O, and what is some uh, what is uh, the features that are going to come up with 701, you can just click on the demo part in our website sign up for the demo form and you can have a, a support team member or a product expert from our end to help you out to pro with the media suite latest version so either demo session or a poc session or a deployment session you can just sign up and you can request it we'll be able to schedule a call at, in, at your convenience and we can proceed things from there so yes and all that i have to say is thank you so much for attending this session now you can just start your poll you have the poll sections to be started so you can start your poll you will have this session open for another 10 minutes where you can start your poll provide your answers and uh, if you have any questions to be raised please raise it up in the q a box and please don't raise the same polls question in the q a box which will not be answered by nature whereas others uh, other questions related to q a can be maintained okay uh thank you all for staying tuned with bdr suite uh, webinar session it was so great of you all being here and uh, we do see a lot of polls results have been released so we'll uh, uh, update the uh, winners through email so we'll let the winners know through an email and uh, they'll get the passes through the registered email address so thank you so much once again for joining in the session and it was a great uh, wonderful evening having you all here Thank you so much. Bye-bye.